Hey, this is John Fernay, the co-host of the Maryland Crabs, and I am here today with a Maryland Crab Cake for your listening pleasure. What's a crab cake? It's not quite a full episode, it's just a little snippet. Stay tuned and check it out. And make sure you check us out on themarylandcrabs.com. You can follow us on Twitter at MD Crabs Podcast or find us on Facebook at the Maryland Crabs Podcast. And don't forget, subscribe, rate us, iTunes, go there now. Hey, I'm on the phone with Matt Flashaw, and you guys, if you're any kind of a fan of DIY Network, you know him from Yard Crashers. How are you, Matt? I'm doing great. You're calling me from California, huh? Sweet California. Uh, I've been born and raised here. Born and raised. But it's always good, good to get out to the uh, the East Coast, especially Annapolis is one of my favorite spots. You know, we've got, we've got a, a difference of opinion there because I can't stand the West Coast. <laughs> You know, I, 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 really... I get on a plane, I fly over the Mississippi, and I start to break out in hives. And <laughs> All right. You must have been just through Los Angeles. But Los, Los Angeles County. is certainly one of the places. That's for yeah. sure. You got to come down to Orange County. Dana Point is where I live, right next to San Clemente. It's it's a small town, beautiful surf town, relaxed. I'll take you. We're not on the phone randomly with Matt Blashaw. You're going to be in town next, or actually this weekend, at the Byzantium Event Center for the Home and Garden Expo, which is the fall show. They put it on twice a year here with Mid-Atlantic Expos. For those that are going, what's the Byzantium Center? That's at the Greek Church on Riva Road. That's what everybody kind of knows it by here. And they cringe every time. They don't like to. They want to be called the Byzantium Center, but we're like, <laughs> no. It's, well, I it's mean, it's a name church. that sticks with you, you know. It's that that is that is for sure. <laughs> um, Matt, you're you're the host of DIY, DIY's Yard Crashers, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's where I go into. I don't know if you've ever seen the show. I, I head into the home improvement store and I look for people that are needing a backyard. And typically, typically, a lot of people say no to me, which is which is strange. I ask them. If they want a brand new backyard, and I get turned away a yeah, lot. You know, you're just you're just that sketchy dude at Home Depot. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe I need to smile more. You know, maybe I need to. Maybe it's the beard. You know, I look like too a little too raggedy. I don't know what it is. I need a different approach. You know, it's funny up here. Sometimes we will have some festivals, and I'll have some tickets to give away, and I get the same thing. I'll be out at the gate. Hey, I said you interested in a pair of VIP tickets to the festival today? Ah, uh, no, get out of here, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe it's just everyone's jaded, you know, too good to be true. There's no way you're going to be. I mean, people know it's legit. You know, if I was just some guy, I wanted to hide the cameras for the longest time, because once you go in, if you hide the cameras, then people are like, oh, why? you got to be kidding me. But the cameras are there. So it's a little bit more legit. They go, OK, this must be a TV show. But it still takes a lot of a lot of convincing in order for them to take me home. And then some people, they see me, recognize me. And then, you know, I'm over their husband's shoulder running. You know, they're taking me out of the uh, the home improvement store. It's crazy. <laughs> Literally, that's happened twice. Oh, that's funny. What season is Yard Crashers in? You've been there for quite a, quite a few years. 17 seasons i've been with the network for 10 years so this is one of my one of my shows that i've done um it was gosh i've done it for probably about 10 years started 10 years ago yard crashers was the sixth or seventh show that i was able to be a part of i came in season seven and now 10 seasons later season 17 i've done you know close to 125 episodes of it so it's a lot of backyards and i i do a lot of them out here on the west coast but we travel to the east coast all over the place this last season i just went to Kansas City, where I actually met my my future wife. How did how did that go about? <laughs> I got lucky. You know, it was I, don't we it all? Was really okay. strange. It was strange because I always wanted to go to the Midwest. You know, I said this is where we need to go. We need to go to the Midwest. You know, bring the show. A lot of people, a lot of fans there. And so, long story short, the contractor brought in this girl. Her name is Lindsay Archer. She does container gardening. It was love at first sight. I said, "Who's the plant lady?" She's there's just something about this girl. I, I asked her out. It took her. It took me a little while, and we went out two days later. And my gosh, it, it was just. I, I thought I've been talking to this girl my entire life, and we went back and forth, and figured, well, we're just going to stay out here in California. So I asked her to marry me in March, and getting married. So it, it's all going to be an eight, eight month. I, I move real slow. You know, real slow. <laughs> eight, eight, eight months from when I, I met that girl, I'm going to marry her. So I couldn't be happier. You know, when you know it, you know it. It's it's like it, it was there was no doubt in my mind. And, and there's been no doubt in my mind ever since. So we're there's probably going to be a show down the line somewhere, a, a yard couple, maybe like a crashing duo, husband and wife. Who knows? 
But did she did she pick you up as like the like like the sketchy TV dude or something like that? Like yeah, no, get <laughs> get, get the, like like the people that don't want to. No, no, he doesn't want to. One hundred percent. No, no, she thought I was like oh, okay, big shot host. She never watched the show. She's never seen the show. So she was just so unimpressed. She's like, okay, kids, here's a guy from California, probably completely into himself. You know, that's probably all he's going to talk about. She was just so unimpressed with the whole thing. And I think that's what was so appealing to me. I went, oh, gosh, she's just her. She's great. She's funny. She's beautiful. You know, she knows about plants. She knows about the yard. And, you know, we just had so much in common. Her dad built houses. My dad built houses. Um, You know, the only thing is that we're, you know, 2,000 miles apart. (laughs) But, you know, she, it was it was a little the arm twists so easily to bring her out to California. She's she's been uh, she's been loving it. So I I packed up uh, her stuff and moved out her out about three months ago. So she's been going going great. Well, that's great. Congratulations. But thank you. Coming up this weekend, you're going to be at the Home and Garden Expo here. What can we expect when you're here? I mean, I know you're going to put on a couple seminars. What are you going to teach us? And, and you know, more importantly, are you coming to my backyard and I take care of it? Yeah, I know. I know. They, I think people are going to be coming to. If you come down to the show, let's let's talk about your yard. So I always inter, I'm always interviewing people. You never know. I you know uh, people show me their yards all the time. Um, you never know when I'm going to end up in Annapolis. So if you do have a bad backyard, you never know when you're going to see my show run through there. So come on down. But I'm going to be talking about definitely landscaping, uh, landscape architecture, where to start in your backyard. I love it. These are my favorite things to do is travel around the country and teach people about their yards, kind of just taking the mystery out of it and making it really simple. Where do I start? How do I solve my problems? I, I, I have this kind of my, my theory is you solve your problems and then you build the solution. So by by systematically solving your problems, you're able to build the solution, build your yard. I got some amazing ideas, lots of befores and afters, and especially from the stuff on season 17, I'm going to be showing you all the projects that I did. It's really something that you can just come, learn, and then come down to the home show, which is awesome. You can go and you can talk to all the contractors. You can get some ideas for next spring or for this winter. Um, just so many ideas. I, I, If you're doing anything home improvement in your house, I strongly recommend coming on down. I, it's a great place to dream. I've gone to there you know, many times and it's, you know, you go and you can dream and, and whatnot. And it's, uh, and you can certainly put a lot into reality. And you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. And, and I know that's the big thing was, well, you do so much on your show. It's so expensive. On my show, I only spend about 15000 in materials for an entire backyard. So I'm going to show you some money-saving ways to have a heavy impact on your backyard. And people say I couldn't do it, but there's some small little tips and tricks that I can show you that's going to make a huge impact on your wallet as well as your yard. What's the biggest bang for your buck in backyard uh, improvements? Hardscape, 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 hardscape. So that's, you know, pavers or concrete, or I even do what's called decomposed granite, which is, uh, it compacts really nicely. It's a do-it-yourself granite. um, And it's almost like a crush where it goes from quarter inch down to pebble. You wet it down, you put a plate compactor on top of it, and you get a real hard surface because you want to expand the entertainment area. You know, it, it's all around the country now that what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a, a, a living room or a dining room in your backyard. I've seen, you've seen double sliding glass doors now where people just have this wide open access to the backyard. It's a seamless transition from front to back. So that's what we want. And and there's things that I can show you, you know, chandeliers, you know, couches and even coffee tables back there and fireplaces. I mean, you love the inside of your house. You love to be around there. You love to you love to stay there. So why not create that same space on the outside, and you'll love it just as much. That makes sense. That makes all sorts of sense. Now you you've been in in many forms of construction, correct? I'm I'm a, so I'm an active realtor. I I um and I'm a contractor. Uh, I flip homes. I've built uh, homes from the ground up. I started as a kid. I actually started on the dock in San Pedro, California. My dad was a uh, engineer. You know, I just kind of picked it up. I loved it. I mean, I I messed things up like you wouldn't believe as a kid. I mean, we didn't have hot water heater for about a week on end. Uh, Electrical, I shocked myself so many times. I've changed my hair style many ways. (laughs) But I mean, 
I just did it because I loved it. And I loved just kind of tinkering with things. And I, I was self-taught. And then as I got into college, got out of college, I became a uh, carpenter for the behind the scenes for Disneyland. So I did all their automation and their stage tech and everything. And then I got into my contracting business at around 25 and then got into spec home building, became a realtor uh, back in 2007, and then been doing this show, uh, flipping homes now, and also doing uh, real estate, luxury real estate out here in Southern California. So anything you guys have questions about real estate, contracting, flipping, renovation, you name it. I mean, one-stop shop, come on and I can answer them all. What type of construction you've done at all? What, what do you love? I mean, is, is it the landscaping? Has, have you now fallen into love with the landscaping as opposed or, you know, like, like you have with your soon to be ex fiance? Yeah. You know, I love the backyard. I've, I've kind of grown to love. I, I do love it because you can create anything that you want. You know, typically in the inside of your house, there's just boxes and you have to kind of do what you know, the boxes tell you to do. But on the outside, I mean, you can just have a blank slate and build whatever you want. So the creativity can absolutely fly back there. So for me, I don't like any boundaries. I like to kind of figure out, boy, what can I do? How can I push the limits here? How can I make this absolutely incredible? So it's really, really exciting. And, and on the, the remodel side, I love remodeling because you can, you can look at a space and, and find out how to reimagine it. How, how to how to make it more livable, how to make it more uh, workable and, and, and to make it beautiful and to fit your family's needs. So, I mean, it's I, I'm, I guess I'm a very creative person. I'm, I'm attention deficit. Um, I'm hyperactive. I don't I'm not medicated for it. So my <laughs> mind constantly is going, going, going. But, you know, with with home improvement, it's just limitless. And um, there's just so many things you can uh, build and there's so many different ideas out there and so many different styles. It's just a, my favorite thing to do in the morning. It wakes me up in the morning uh, and I love going to work and just kind of creating these dreams for other people. Well, that's cool. So now you've been to Annapolis before. You said you love it here. Love downtown. Yeah, the whole block. I mean, I went there when it was freezing. I was in there when, when yeah, it, it was uh, fall in Annapolis. Right. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm, the roads were frozen, but I tell you, it's a it's a beautiful city. Just all the different restaurants and shops, and the people were really cool too. Do you have Do you have any Do you have Do you remember or have any favorites? Huh. You know, I, there was a little Italian place I forget that's right in downtown Annapolis. What's the famous the, the night really nice Italian place? Um, um, there was one called Piccolo Roma up on Main Street. There was one called Maria's, and they're both actually not here, unfortunately. They were. Oh, great. really. Oh man, I guess Italian's not big in Annapolis. Yeah, we we've kind of switched over. We're kind of going into the uh, Latin food as well as um, Irish. I'll tell you yeah. what, if you're you're going to be overnight here. I'll tell you, head on over to West Annapolis, and there's a new restaurant called Flamont. Both uh-huh. of the outstanding. I've not been there. It just opened up a couple months ago. I'm going to be at the home show on Sunday, and if you go there, I want to talk to you and see see what you thought about it because uh, I'm oh, in, done. I'm interested to do it there. So uh, okay, maybe I'll go on. Maybe I'll go on Saturday because I venture out. My talks, you know, on Saturday, I think I have one at noon and one at three and the next on sunday i have one at noon as well too so i have a ton of time to venture out and and see maybe it's going to be a lot warmer when i'm there now we've got a beautiful weekend ahead of us it's, oh, good. Yeah, no no rain. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be warm and everything else. And uh, are, you, are you bringing the plant lady with you? No, I'm not. Because you know why? Because we're, so we're, we're, we're getting married, literally. And then we're, we're, I'm going out doing this, the, the, um, the home show. I get back for two days, and then we're heading to Positano, Italy for a couple of weeks. So she, she, she didn't know she could take the, the, the massive travel schedule. So I'm going to allow her to kind of just get things prepared, get ready. She's not. I don't think she's ever been on a ten and a half hour flight, so this might be a uh, an interesting an interesting flight. I think her longest flight is four hours, so oh. this could this could get interesting. But um, worse, worse. I'm so excited. I mean, I just I I, I I've, I've been we've been planning this. All her family and friends are in town from Kansas City, so I tell you, it's 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 going to be amazing. That's phenomenal. Well, again, congratulations. Matt Blashaw is going to be here this weekend at the Annapolis Home and Garden Expo, which is at the Byzantium Center, and it is on Saturday the 23rd from 10 to 6 p.m. and also Sunday the 24th from noon to 5. You can get tickets and more information at midatlanticexpos.com, and I will be there. Matt will be there. 
And the plant lady won't, but my gosh, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. Thank, I have, I'll, I'll bring tons of pictures, lots of wedding pictures. I, I will hunt you down, and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll look forward to it. Done. Matt, done, thank done. you very much. My pleasure. See you soon. This has been the Maryland Crabs Podcast with Tim Hamilton and John Fernay. Sure to follow them in all the regular places, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and online at themarylandcrabs.com. Take a moment to rate us on iTunes. Now, get the hell out of my kitchen. Seriously, go! You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Go.